What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is my top 10 tweaks for iOS 8.3 part two video. So you've jailbroken on this latest version, and now what? Well, these kind of videos show you all of the best collection of Cydia tweaks. Uh, these are mostly updated from older versions to support 8.3, and they help you make the best out of your device on this latest version. So it includes a lot of useful, a lot of cool tweaks, and basically the latest and greatest collection. Now I just wanna let you guys know, you do need to be jailbroken in order to do this, and it's a very simple process one click just go ahead and click on that video right there it will take you to the jailbreak very easy to follow and you guys will be jailbroken in no time and just to let you guys know uh, one of the main reasons I make these videos is not only to introduce you guys to new tweaks but also to show you guys which tweaks have the latest support on iOS 8.3 because I personally test them on my devices so these are all compatible with the latest firmware as well as older ones and in order to install some of these you guys will need custom sources so in order to get custom sources the full list of tweaks I'm using in this video as well as some bonus ones go ahead and click on the link right there it'll have all of those you know all the sources you do need to add in Cydia to install these all right so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so a really nice and elegant little tweak is called tiny bar 8 so what it does is when you receive a text message your notification up here is going to be a lot smaller so it's a very tiny little menu and when you drag it down it takes up less space on your actual device so it's a very elegant little tweak you can of course adjust how big you want it inside of the settings but Overall, basically, when you get a message, it's gonna take up a lot less real estate on your screen to get a message. So a lot of these tweaks I'll be showing you today are basically how to get the most out of your device, make it faster, you know, just more productive. And this falls into that category. I mean, when you're doing something, you don't wanna be interrupted by a huge pop down, very slim. I mean, it gets the message through, why not? So in the actual settings in here, you can actually uh, adjust quite a bit. And the height, which is important right here, you can make it thicker if you like, but I like it as it is, it's very slim. And you can actually change the duration that it stays on the screen so super cool so this one is a widely popular one one of my favorites from earlier days basically it's called lock lift this is for touch ID enabled devices so this is actually the Apple pay symbol transferred to the lock screen and basically you get a nice animation and a sound whenever you unlock your device from the lock screen using touch ID so uh, it vibrates if you get it wrong when you go through it vibrates and makes a sound. So unfortunately, in this latest version, the sound and vibrate upon unlock don't work, but everything does work. Uh, otherwise, it's a very, very nice little animation. If you look at it, you can actually change the colors, uh, the behavior of it in settings, but it's really cool. It's just a nice elegant touch to bring to your lock screen. So in here you have a uh, behavior appearance and there are some animation changes in here as well. So quite a bit of uh, colors you can change. If you don't like the colors, there's a whole menu in here you can adjust the colors to your liking and of course uh, behavior the sounds you can change in here if you want to unlock immediately vibrate so really cool definitely would recommend this one if you have a touch id enabled device you definitely get this now just take a look at my device if you notice anything different now besides that but whenever opening stuff up you'll notice it's so rapid quick i mean it's crazy how quick it is to open and load things and that's because of no slow animations this could possibly be one of the most useful Cydia tweaks because of how fast it speeds up your device basically in iOS 8 Apple made animations really slow it's like it feels like a different device after installing this your phone will feel so fast especially when unlocking your device things go uh, you know a lot faster to the home screen opening and closing applications will be a lot faster and this is called no slow animations inside you can choose how fast if this feels too artificial for you you can actually slow it down the animations right here so uh, make it feel a little bit more like stock but i like to keep it there because it really really feels like my phone is on steroids it's really quick uh, definitely get it this is a really must have city a tweak and you will wonder why apple keeps these slow animations on ios 8 as it is it's really cool now look at my top left corner that's zeppelin i'm sure many of you guys are acquainted with it so it allows you to change your carrier logo either replace it with an image or replace it with a custom text so in actual settings, I'll show you some of the themes that come with it. And there are tons of packs that you can download separately. So uh, there's a lot of car brands, uh, you know, manufacturer brands. But in here, as you can see, there's already some noticeable stuff. Uh, the Batman Infinity logo, uh, really cool stuff. So if you just set it, changes are immediate. And over here, you can actually change to a custom text if you don't want an image. But the reason I get this is for the images. Uh, it's really cool, especially if you're theming your device. It, 
it's a nice little touch to change a carrier logo as well. So Zeppelin changed carrier logos really quickly, absolutely free. Uh, basically, it's been around forever and it's a really nice jailbreak tweak. Now the animation that you're seeing when I'm swiping through pages is called Barrow. Now Barrow basically allows you to change that animation. There's a ton in here. One of my favorite is the cube outside, but let me go ahead and put it on random. I'm just gonna show you the effects when I'm going through random. So there are quite a bit and this is a paid application. Cylinder is basically a free version of this, but it has some really cool ones like that. Shrink out, shrink in, basically change animations. This is something really cool. If someone looks at your device, they're definitely gonna know something's different because no stock device can do this. It's just a nice touch. Differentiate yourself from all the regular phones out there and their boring you know, fade out, fade in animations when swiping between. So really cool. Barrel, uh, definitely get it in Insidia. Well-known Insidia tweak. It's been around forever. Also a must-have for all jailbreakers. So a feature that was introduced in iOS 9 that borrowed heavily from the jailbreak is called Swipe Selection. So this Insidia tweak basically allows you to navigate easily through a mass amount of text without having to go and manually do it up there. So all you do is swipe on your keyboard and it'll move the cursor for you guys. So this is actually even better than iOS 9's because iOS 9 requires you to use two fingers while this you can easily manage the text while holding your phone with one hand. So not only can you swipe through them, you can actually uh, select text by selecting on the back button or from the capital button over here, you can select over here. So very convenient. It's a lot better than iOS 9's in my opinion. It works very well. It's also a must have for any jailbreak tweaker. It's called swipe selection, absolutely free. So how many times have you found yourself in that situation where you send a message and you notice either a spelling mistake, it wasn't to who you wanted to send it to, or you just don't want to send it anymore? Well, send delay gives you a second chance. When you send a message, you have a few seconds to go ahead and stop the message. Unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough there. But the good thing is you can set it to a custom time. So if you're prone to making mistakes, you can go ahead and stop the message during when it's sending. And uh, there you go. So, oh, okay. I stopped it. Anyways, so there are some settings. Let me go ahead and show you those real quick. So all it is, is basically you can adjust the amount of seconds it gives you before you can stop the message. So I like to keep it at three. It's a good medium. So whenever sending a message now, you have a full three seconds to stop it in case you notice a spelling error or uh, you're texting your mom instead of your girlfriend. You know, perfect, perfect city of tweak, a lifesaver in some situations. Now here is virtual home. So virtual home can actually extend the life of your home button on your device. Not only that, but it's quicker, quicker way to use your home button and it's more efficient. So basically, if you wanna go to your home screen, basically virtual home A replaces the touch function, the push function with just a tap. So you just tap the touch ID enabled device. It has to have the sensor and it will use the home button instead of clicking it. So I know a lot of phones, it wears out very quickly whenever using the home button. You will have to replace it eventually. It becomes mushy. Well, virtual home eight, all you have to do is tap and it will enable it. Now you can hold it and it will bring up your multitasking pain. Reachability functionality remains. If you double tap it, you'll just feel a vibrate. So there is quite a bit of adjustability in here. You can disable it on individual applications. You can choose what a double tap does, a short hold, a single tap. So there's a lot of flexibility in here if you don't like these stock settings. But I like these stock settings just how they are. Just a simple tap, it'll vibrate a little bit. And I think the haptic feedback is great because it lets you know when you did uh, actually press it. Just basically extend the life of your home button and functionality using Virtual Home 8. Now here's Tej. So Tej is a very useful multitasking tweak. It allows you to quickly swipe between pages using gestures. So here's just a few included in this tweak. So bring up the multitasking pane by swiping from the edge of the left or right, the screen, and uh, swipe through them very quickly to get to the app that you're looking for. So say I want to be here or I don't want to be here. I want to go back to my home screen. Basically a very simple way to navigate through your device using gestures. You can also swipe edge of the page to go to the next application. And this works both ways. Of course, you can disable it because it does interfere with the back function. So I like to disable it on the left side, only available on the right and uh, easily swipe through pages or go into your multitasking pane and go through like this. Now there's a couple other ones. You can quickly shut down your phone by swiping right here. And that can be adjusted to an activator gesture. But I think overall, this is a 
must have. This allows you to quickly manipulate your device, go places a lot faster than having to manually double tap this, you know, scroll through here slowly, painfully, and getting to where you want. Very quick, very quick way to do that. And a last must have is Status Vault X. This does require a custom source. So it basically removes that volume banner HUD from the middle of your display and puts it up top into your status bar. So this is a lot like Snapchat's new function when watching stories. So it doesn't interfere with your experience. It puts the volume changer up in the status bar area. So you can easily see, you know, when you're changing volume, where it's at. It's a very nice interface and you can actually change it from circles to squares in the settings, but very simple, very unobtrusive way to change your volume because there's so many times I'm watching a trailer or something and I'll change the volume and I get this huge big box. I mean, who thought of that at Apple, but it removes that, puts it up there in your status bar. So guys, there you go. The top 10 tweaks for iOS 8.3 part two. And trust me, there is many more of these coming and I'm actually going to be making very large compilations as well because there's just too much to make in these individual videos. But I just wanted to share some must haves with you guys. These are basically the staples of jailbreaking. When you jailbreak, these are the ones you're going to want to install right away because they enhance your experience so much. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I enjoy making these kind of videos. I know a lot of people are new to jailbreaking and they don't really know what to do. So uh, these videos do help you guys as well. Stay tuned for many more videos to come. And iOS 8.4 is right around the corner. I'm going to be posting an update for you guys very soon on that. So have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed all of these tweaks. Peace.